So I wanted to make this video for you guys because I started noticing something a long time ago and I feel like I've gained enough experience and enough knowledge in this arena to where I'm confident to share this with you. And that is the fact that the living can also be your spirit guides, otherwise known as your personal team of guardian angels on the other side who are assigned to help you along on your path. So in case you're sometimes looking around at your friends and thinking, geez, you really helped me there, or wow, you are literally like my angel on earth, you're my hero, you're my savior, Right? If you're looking around at some of your friends and family and acquaintances and kind of wondering like, wow, that was, that was pretty profound, they might actually be one of your spirit guides meant to help you on your path based on their own personal expertise and also their care, concern, and love for you. So if you are particularly fond of this person, their higher self knows it. So. That actually brings me to my, my explanation here because I have to explain briefly what the higher self is so that you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, everyone has a part of their soul that lives on the other side called the higher self. Uh, for lack of a better way to explain it, there's basically two of you. <laughs> there's the part of your soul that lives within the confines of your human body and then the other part of your soul that resides on the other side. The higher self, which is the part of you that lives on the other side, is an all-knowing angelic being. This is the part of you that's directly connected to the divine. They're all knowing, they're also the ones feeding you those gut instincts. That's your intuition, your intuition is your higher self. So if you make a bad decision, you start feeling that nausea in your stomach, that's your higher self saying, no you idiot, don't do that. Don't sign that contract, you big fat dummy. Because they're all knowing. So they know that that contract's not gonna work out for you. So I'm going to explain things to you in the context of my own life, which you know, on its own is one big acid trip, but it's actually really funny if you look at the dynamics of what's going on with me. Okay, so here's the divine up here, and yes, we are part of one big collective consciousness. Everybody's higher self exists in this collective consciousness, right? Everybody's all up here hanging out, partying together, right? Now, I don't want you to think that these are just a bunch of you know, angelic robots either. These people have thoughts, feelings, ideas, emotions, positive emotion, negative emotion. Your higher self can get really emotional. I've made people's higher selves cry before. So these are, you know, these are souls. These are, these are real people conferring with each other, hanging out and partying with the divine, right? Um, Catholics call this part of you the Holy Spirit, right? Because this is you connected to the divine, right? Everybody's a spark of the divine. So it's kind of like we're separate, but whole. Um, you know, separation is an illusion, but, you know, we feel very separate down here in this particular earth plane, but separation is technically an illusion because we're all connected via the collective consciousness and we're all being influenced by our higher selves. So I'm going to explain to you what's going on in my life, which is, like I said, pretty, pretty interesting if you think about it. And I've asked my friend Simon permission to use his real name. <laughs> Usually I change names. Everybody's like Jessica or Brad or Andrea. Because I make my friends sound like fraternity and sorority people because it just makes me look cooler. All right, so this is me, kids. This is Christine, right? And this is my friend Simon. And this is Mark Foster, okay? Mark Foster is a lead singer of Foster the People, also known as my divine compliment. Okay, this is me. Simon's one of my friends. He is in my life, on my path, helping me along with my journey, okay? Simon has an amazing connection to his higher self because he is intuitive himself. So he is very familiar with this part of his soul and he's very familiar with the importance of the connection between his intuition, his higher self, and all that good stuff. So Simon, because he has taken the time to develop his own intuition, these are living, these are all living people down here by the way, this is earth, right? Because he's taking the time to develop his intuition, he actually knows He's supposed to be helping me on my path. So because his connection to his higher self is so good, he feels compelled. He feels compelled to help me on my path. So he calls me, what do you need? What can I do? How can I help you? Now, why does Simon feel compelled to help me on my path? His higher self is one of my spirit guides. He is actually assigned. His higher self has been assigned by the divine 
to help me on my path. Why? Because of his knowledge. Who he is as a soul. His heart, soul, knowledge, expertise. Simon's strengths are my weaknesses. He specializes in online security, technology, internet stuff, right? Um, he's also very into politics, so he helps me with politics because I'm very weak there. So Simon helps me on my path and positively affects me. So he's actually doing all this stuff. Now you have to remember, because Simon was handpicked by the divine, he is also, the more I get to know him, he's also like the perfect friend for me. We make each other laugh. We have similar sense of, senses of humor, similar you know, interests. Now, this is a platonic connection. There's no romantic feelings there. This is purely platonic, but he helps me and I'm helping him with his intuition. So you see how it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Now, I'm not getting that my higher self is one of his spirit guides, but I mean, he hasn't told me that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really getting that part. It feels kind of like he's mine. It feels like I'm just kind of a friend to influence on him on his path. But anyway, so the divine brought us together to help each other out, right? And Simon is, is doing that. And everything's cool and great and wonderful. And I'm extremely appreciative for him and everything he's done for me. Now, Mark Foster's higher self is also one of my spirit guides. He has been assigned by the divine to help me on my path. And he helps me a lot with self-love. When I was first trying to embrace my gift and coming to terms with the fact that the other side, you know, wanted me to speak this way and be controversial and make videos about abortion and, you know, atheism and speaking for the divine court, I really struggled with it. I really struggled with going from marketing executive to mediumship. Mark Foster's higher self gave me all this emotional support. Because I have the ability to communicate with their higher selves, I can hear these guys talking to me. So I can communicate with Simon's lower self and his higher self, and sometimes I freak him out with that, so we won't go there. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, Mark, Mark's higher self helped me a lot with emotional support. Like I would be crying and feeling very shameful and very bad about myself because society was rejecting me and my truth, and he would show up and kind of show some tough love and be like, you know, you need to love yourself, I love you, I need you to love yourself as much as I love you. And so he offers a lot of support. Now, Mark Foster's lower self is kind of going like this, right? He's kind of giving me the middle finger where he's just like, F you, no thanks, not interested, right? Because Mark Foster was given the opportunity to help me on my path, and I was going to obviously help him on his path, of course. Uh, that has not happened. So, his higher self is still helping me. This is the tough part. His higher self wants to marry me and to be the father of my children. And he's made that extremely clear. So Mark Foster's higher self actually cries a lot. He will show up crying because he is frustrated with this. This is not good. Mark Foster's connection to his higher self is poor for various reasons. So he is not helping me and, and in turn I am not helping him because it was basically his free will decision to show up and come onto my path, right? It was not, I was not allowed to reach out to him. I was not allowed to just show up on his doorstep or act like a stalker. The other side's having me keep a respectful distance. So because this connection is poor right here, he is not in touch with this part of his soul. Not clearly, not like Simon. So his higher self doesn't, I mean, his higher self cares, but it doesn't stop his higher self from helping me. So he still shows up to lend support, love, encouragement, positive comments, and help me on my path. So his higher self hangs out quite a bit. Now, Mark Foster's higher self is one of my spirit guides as well. Simon's higher self is one of my spirit guides. So <laughs> allow me to tell you what recently happened. I asked the divine to pull Mark Foster's higher self away from me. I said, I understand he's here to help me. I'm kind of struggling with what his lower self is doing versus what his higher self is doing. I'm struggling with this. I feel 
as Christine Pavlina, who has the ability to communicate with his higher self and then watch what his lower self is doing, I'm getting hurt from this. I'm getting hurt from the fact that his higher self is still hanging out with me. It's hurting my feelings. And I asked the divine to pull his higher self away from me. The divine said, no. He said, I will not do that. And I said, why not? And he said, Mr. Foster is helping you on your path. His higher self has done nothing wrong. His higher self is doing everything he's supposed to be doing. He's trying to influence his lower self. I will not pull one of your spirit guides away from you. I will not pull one of your angels away from you. So the divine said, no. So, however painful it is, Mark Foster's higher self continues to hang out with me. And the divine is saying that, we'll do it. We'll pull him away. So, just so you know, it is the divine's decision who your spirit guides are. And they are brought on to you in your path based on their area of expertise. So his area of expertise, um, you know, uh, like a lot of it has to do with like love, psychology, self-help, personal development, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, he's very romantic, very squishy, very like positive, encouraging, like life coachy. So that whole life coachy side of him is what the divine, not gonna pull him away from me. Um, there's also like a mutual love and respect there between our higher selves, so yeah, no. He also happens to be the other half of my soul, so that's probably another reason why the divine won't pull him away. But anyway, so I wanted to let you know that this is the dynamic going on with me, and I hope this isn't too confusing for you guys. I try to make it as clear as possible, but this is just me. See, the thing is, I'm Christine, so I have the ability to communicate with these people's higher selves. You might not, but that's where I want you to pay close attention to what's going on with you, your friends, and your family, and how they're influencing you, how you're helping you. Did they just feel compelled to call you when you were laying on your bed crying? Might have been a reason for that. It might be their higher self saying, hey, you know, he or she needs help, reach out. So those feelings and those sensations and compulsions that you have to help others, you never know, you might just be one of their angels on the other side because the collective consciousness, we essentially are all partying together with each other. So that's another thing is, you know, it just goes to show you how connected we all are and how we really are here to help each other. <laughs> you know, um, like, uh, like, I, I have, I mean, I, I won't tell anybody this. I don't want to announce it because I don't want to freak them out. But yeah, there's like other acquaintances that I have in my life where I'm like, your higher self hangs out with me a lot. It's because of their area of expertise. You know, maybe they're good accountants or whatever. So they show up when I'm doing my taxes. You know, they'll, they'll help you. They'll show up and they'll help you because they'll see where your weak spots are. And they'll want to try to fill those in. Um, so I just wanted to kind of raise awareness in this area is that your deceased loved ones, sorry, your deceased loved ones could easily be your spirit guides. I see that all the time in readings, but also living, also living. Now, another reason why the living might be your spirit guides is if you're constantly casting love at their soul, they're going to be attracted to that. Their higher selves can be like, Ooh, thank you. It's like handing a brownie to them, you know, sticking a brownie, a brownie on them saying, thank you. Them showing up to receive it when you cast love at them. So if you have a crush on somebody, their higher self is probably going to show up a lot. They're going to be like, hey, she likes me. I like you too. Now remember, the reason this is so flattering is because these guys can see all aspects of your soul because they're all knowing. So if someone's higher self is hanging out with you, that's, that's a compliment. That's a compliment because they can see all aspects of your soul. So accept the help, show gratitude and love, and in the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.